Yeah, anyway, <laughs> tried to film before, but the camera fell over and it will probably happen again. <laughs> but um, the idea is basically is uh, chess, uh, but played on a chocolate box, the Thornton's chocolates, and they've got unusual um, configuration of squares. And uh, so I've had to group, uh, for instance, um, if you're familiar with chess pieces, um, I've had to put two knights and two pawns in here, if we want to use all the, all the pieces. The, the uh, rooks have got a square each, the queen and the king have got a square each, and the, these, uh, the bishop and the pawn are sharing the square here. So um, I'm going to play myself. Uh, so it was just an experimental idea. I mean, it might might be a very bad idea. Um, and the idea is that um, if the if the if the moulded chocolate um, plastic uh, squares are opposite to each other, then and the the piece goes forward. Um, it, if the square is on a diagonal, then it obviously can go diagonally but if the um, and also some of the squares are you know are, are linked diagonally um to some parts and also sort of um they're also linked to two squares so for instance like the if i make an opening move now with the pawn uh these two pawns are here so one could one could go in here and one could go in here sort of thing and so uh, so we start the game like that, traditionally white going first, uh, and then say for instance, um, I don't know how this is going to work out basically, but this, this pawn here could move here because one of the squares is um, square to it, uh, this one or that one really. Um, so then basically, uh, I mean, it might not work at all. <laughs> um, well, we can move this pawn forward because the, um, the plastic isn't very amenable to the, the, the pieces standing up. We've got to move them very carefully. So we'll move this uh, pawn forward here. Um, so it can go on this square because part of it is is square to it sort of thing now this pawn here is diagonal to this one so it could take it that's it and then it's threatening to take either the bishop or the um or the knight so there's no other piece that can take it apart from the bishop so there we are. So the bishop would take the pawn and then this bishop here, because it's on a diagonal, could take the white bishop. Now, so can white retake that? Uh, can white retake that? It might be able to do with the, um, with the knight actually because it's uh, moving one and then two to the side. So this knight could move it's slightly square to this one. So it would be one and then one, two. As a normal knight move. So it could go here and then one, two and take the bishop there. So now um now there are two knights here so one of the knights could take back so to be like if you so wish you could one two and take the knight back but then the um the pawn could then retake the black um bishop uh, sorry knight rather hope i'm not confusing you too much there we go. I'm not one of the pawns over in the meantime. So this pawn could 
um, move into this square. Now, presumably, the one of these pawns now, um, because this is actually adjacent to the pawn, but also diagonal to it as well, because part of the square is diagonal to it, so um, as is this one sort of thing. So one of these pawns should be able to take uh, the, um, the pawn next to it, diagonally to it sort of thing. There we are. And uh, so also because this, uh, it could be taken back by this pawn because it's, as well as being next to this square, it's also diagonal to it. So it could square, take it back. So in this case, it's square. And this one can retake here, look because it's next to it, but also diagonal to it. So it can retake it according to the rules of chess. So, <coughs> well, it might turn out to be a totally rubbish game. Um, anyway, so this, um, the queen now is getting free. So I could, I could advance the pawn, the white pawn here, um, threatening the not the um, the bishop sort of thing. Um, now the bishop could take the the pawn, but otherwise it could get it could share this square here with it, with this pawn and uh, be on a escape from the threat of the. Uh... Now this the white pawn now could go here and and pronounced check so and it's protected by it now so the only the only alternative really is for the bishop to come back and retake the white pawn and then the white pawn then could take the bishop because it's on a diagonal oh this is making sense to anyone who understands chess out there so the the um, and then the it's pretty the um the it's the quick the king's in check sort of thing so um he'll have to move out of check uh and the only way to do that basically is by uh taking the piece um so so the king's a bit exposed now takes the piece uh, now i've seen it tricky move here so if if this pawn moves forward now uh, it exposes the king to a check sort of thing and um, so the king mark can't move here the can it block it somehow um, yes it could block it by one of the pawns in here uh, it can move forward and block the uh, the check from the um, from the bishop sort of thing, but now it um, but now the um, the knight, for instance, could move one two and take this pawn here, or uh, yeah one two. Well, in actual fact, it. Uh, the um, the castle could take the pawn, but it'd probably be retaken. But uh, but the thing is, this uh, this queen is also on the diagonal, so that will protect the the um, the knight. So if the knight takes that there, then um. So it could be retaken by the bishop because this is one, two, three. So it could retake like that. Then 
add to that basically the the queen could the queen could uh, take this but then it could be retaken by uh, the black rook um, so basically what could happen here is because the um, the black pawn is pinned by the bishop I could move the queen here where it can't be taken by the knight because um, the knight's got to have either one and two or two and one so that's check so the um, so the queen's got to block it um, actually um, I think that's checkmate because the thing is that um, the king can only move here and it can't take the piece well actually as well um, thinking about it yeah the, the, the pawn could have taken it because it's slightly on a diagonal as well so but it looks like it's checkmate because um, the queen can only move here sorry the king can only move here and it's still in check because these two squares are lined up to each other anyway um, I don't know whether you've been able to see where you're sitting but basically that's uh, chocolate box checks chess um, I might be able to flatten the um, the squares a little bit so it makes it a bit easier to play but uh, that's the, the basic idea just a bit of fun because somebody kindly bought me some box of a box of chocolates and uh, you could even have chocolate chess pieces and eat the pieces as you go along but uh, but basically it was just having a different kind of um, um, chess board to uh, innovate with and see uh, see what you could come up with anyway thanks for watching and uh, I hope uh, I hope you give some comments or something like that or or um, yeah have some ideas and have an improved game yourself um, if you if you want to play an alternative to the uh, normal chess game thanks very much then all the best this has been betty tigers youtube